Hello everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a beginner's tutorial series on MongoDB. Now in this video, we're going to go ahead and install MongoDB for Windows. Now the first thing you want to do is go to www.mongodb.org and then hit on download MongoDB. Once you're here, scroll down, select the appropriate 32-bit or 64-bit version and then click on download. Now I have already downloaded it so let's go ahead and set it up. Double click, run, next, accept, next, go for the complete one, install and we wait for a few seconds. Come on wizard, okay, yes, just another second and finish. Now what the installation does is it's going to create MongoDB in program files in the C drive. So go ahead click on MongoDB server 3.0 and go to the bin directory. Now here we have Mongo and MongoD. Now MongoD is a program that runs in the background and that allows us to make connections to the Mongo database. And Mongo, just Mongo, is the application that lets us execute our commands for MongoDB. Now just to make sure that the installation was successful, we're going to go to command prompt cmd and we need to navigate to this directory and then execute mongod. Now, just a shortcut way of doing that, close the command prompt, hold your shift and right click and open command window here. So what this does is opens command prompt in the current directory. Now, type mongod. Whoops, no connections. Okay, so the creators of MongoD have said that you need to create a folder DB in a folder data in C drive where MongoD is going to store all its data. So let's go to C drive, right click, new folder, data, navigate inside data and a new folder, DB. All right, now let's go back to our command prompt and say mongo t. All right, so it says waiting for connections on port 27017. So let's go back to C, program files, mongodb, server 3.0, open. let's open another command prompt now, this is where uh, we are waiting for connections on and we cannot type any more commands in MongoD. So this is just running in the background waiting for connections. Now open a second command prompt and type Mongo. Now if you see here it says connection accepted from this is my local machine. So one connection is now open. And this is the Mongo shell where we can type our commands. Just to confirm our installation, type the command db and it says test. So test is the database that MongoDB provides by default and we are currently using that. And we are done with the installation and I'll see you in the next tutorial.